Here's how to install the Off-Road Throttle Upgrade Kit on the Scorpion e-bike. Installing the Off-Road Kit should take about 30 minutes. Open the Off-Road Kit and remove the controller, the throttle, and the 1-5 to five cable. The throttle and 1-5 to five cable will not be needed for installation. You will need one 10 mm socket wrench, one tri allen wrench or 5 mm allen wrench, five zip ties, and a pair of flat side cutters to complete the installation. We do not recommend using scissors as they could damage the cables. First be sure the bike is turned off and the battery is removed. Then, you need to remove the seat from your Scorpion e-bike. Locate the two nuts and two washers under the front of the seat. Use the 10 mm socket wrench to remove both washers and nuts. Then find the two nuts and two washers under the back of the seat. Use the same socket wrench to remove them. Now take the seat off of the bike. Locate the bundle of wires in the seat tube and pull them out of the bike. Carefully cut the zip tie from the yellow square power connection and unplug the cord. Then unplug the other three cables in that area. Find the zip tie holding the tail light cable under the back of the seat and remove it. Now unplug the cable. On the drive side of the bike, Find the motor cable under the chainstay. Carefully cut the two zip ties holding the cable to the bike. Then unplug the cable. Find the zip tie holding the bundle of wires under the bottom of the seat tube and carefully cut the zip tie. Push the motor cable out from under the bike and up into the seat tube. Then reach into the top of the seat tube and pull out the cable. Use the 5 mm Allen side of the tri-tool to remove all four bolts and washers holding the controller tray in place. Then pull the tray away from the bike and remove it, being sure to fish the motor cable out through the seat tube. Remove the standard controller from the tray. Before installing the new controller, peel the two rubber adhesive pieces off the old controller and place them on top of the new one. The new controller will go on top of the aluminum strip in the tray. First, place all cables through the front of the tray. Next, place the controller on the tray, being sure the side with the rubber pieces is facing up. Then find the yellow end male taillight wire and insert it through the back of the tray. Before installing the controller tray, locate the washers, bolts, and the tri-tool. Place one washer on each of the four bolts. Now slide the tray under the bike. Line up the holes on the bike with the holes on the tray. Place the bolts through the holes on the frame 
and begin to tighten enough by hand so the tray stays in place. Fully tighten each bolt with the 5mm side of the Tri Allen tool until they are snug. To reconnect the tail light, locate the yellow end wires under the back of the bike and press them firmly together. Attach this cable to the bike with a zip tie. Remove any excess carefully with the flat side cutters. Find the longest cable attached to the controller and feed it through the seat tube. Reach through the bottom opening and grab the cable while feeding it through. Connect that cable with the motor cable near the chain stay by lining up the arrows and pressing them together. Attach the cable to the bike with two zip ties and remove any excess. Add another zip tie under the seat tube to hold the bundle of wires together. Locate the four other cables at the front of the controller and feed them through and up the seat tube. Find both ends of the yellow square power connection and connect them firmly together. Add a zip tie around the cable to ensure a good connection. Locate both yellow end cadence sensor wires. Line up the arrows and connect them. Find the red end headlight wires and line up the arrows to connect them. Then find the two black end 1 to 5 cables and press them firmly together. Once all wires are connected, push them into the seat tube. To reinstall the seat, place the bolts through the holes on top of the bike frame. Find the four washers and four nuts that were first removed from the bike. Place one washer and one nut on each bolt under the front of the seat and begin to lightly tighten by hand. Fully tighten the nuts with the 10 mm socket wrench. Place one washer and one nut on each bolt under the back of the seat and begin to lightly tighten by hand. Then fully tighten each with the socket wrench. Double check that the seat is secure on the bike. Install the battery back onto the bike. Then press the power button. Turn the LCD on by holding the power button on the back of the display. You're now ready to ride even faster on throttle only on your Scorpion e-bike from Juiced.